The train traveled at one third of its usual speed and hence reached the destination 30 minutes after the scheduled time. A wonderful speed instead of x becomes x by 3. That means time taken t would become 3t. A very simple question. This 3t is 30 minutes after the scheduled time. So the extra 2t is 30 minutes or t is 15 minutes or when the train travels at x it takes 15 minutes when it travels at x by 3 it takes 45 minutes. On its return journey the train initially traveled at its usual speed for 5 minutes lovely so we're talking about the return journey say so this goes like this return journey is like this on its usual speed for 5 minutes usual speed it would have covered the whole distance in 15 minutes so for 5 minutes coming back like this one third of the distance would have been covered but then stop for four minutes for an emergency so stops for four minutes four minutes get lost here and so so nine minutes are down so far the percentage by which the train must now increase its usual speed so as to reach the destination on scheduled time is nearest to five plus four nine minutes are gone the total time taken the scheduled time which is 15 minutes the train should cover this distance in six minutes if this four minutes break had not been there it would have covered in 10 minutes lovely question so what it would have covered in 10 now it should cover in six this speed where x this speed has to be x into 10 by 6 or x into 5 by 3 if the time taken should reduce, speed should increase in the same ratio. 10 falls to 6, x should increase to x into 10 by 6, x into 5 by 3. x goes to 5 by 3 x, an increase of 2 thirds of x or 67%. It's a beautiful question because you are just thinking in terms of ratios and you are through. You don't need to do distance by time or speed, speed into time is distance, none of that. Just think in terms of ratios, you are good to go.